The Nigerian military has scored itself high in the fight against insurgency and other challenges bedeviling the country. Major General John Enenche, who disclosed this at an end-of-year media engagement, said, within the period under review, troops engaged in series of land, maritime, and air operations involving both kinetic and non-kinetic activities across the nation. He said, since the establishment of the Directorate of Defense Media Operations on the 18th of March 2020, scores of terrorists, ISWAP, bandits, and other criminal elements were killed. 357 assorted rifles, 77,818 ammunition recovered in the period under review. General Energy also noted that over 1,000 kidnapped victims were rescued as the troops arrested over 1,910 terrorists in the diverse operations. Some of our troops paid the supreme price in the course of the operations. Our dogged troops have consistently exhibited gallantry and resilience in the various operations. Within the time frame in focus, troops neutralized scores of terrorists and bandits, while many others were incapacitated and their camps destroyed. Our operations also inhibited activities of economic saboteurs, as well as exposed and obviated other criminal activities. In addition, several other criminal elements including high-profile ones who are either killed in action or arrested, sometimes together with their families, as well as informants and gun runners. He also recounted successes recorded in the Niger Delta region in the fight against economic saboteurs. Within this period, a cumulative total of 8,890,300 liters of stolen automotive gas oil and 33 million 516,000 liters of double-purpose kerosene were impounded by the troops of Operation Delta Sif. Similarly, the Galan troops immobilized a total of 185 illegal refining sites, 85 dugout pits, 163 metal storage tanks within the period. Additionally, Troops impounded a cumulative of 31,236.8 barrels of stolen crude oil, as well as 12,272,652 liters of stolen premium motor spirit from oil tips in the zone. He, however, commended the troops and personnel of other security agencies involved in various operations across the country for their resilience, doggedness, and commitments. Fred Idehai, CNN News.